Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. What I want to cover in this module is how to create and save your own views. So just to recap what a view is, this whole screen is a view. On the right hand side, you've got the Gantt chart part of this view. On the left hand side, you've got a table part of a view. And if I go to tables, I can change the table part of this view and select any of these preset tables that I've created or the default ones in this list. Tracking, for example, when you open project, you get the entry one to start off with. So you can create your own view. You can add the views into this little view bar. And if you haven't got the view bar on on your copy of project, you just right click, tick it on. So it would normally be like that. Right click, view bar on. And then you get all the views. Now this used to be a great little feature because it was a fairly static list. But now unfortunately when you create a new view or you go into one of the other views and pick one of these. So I'll go for detailed Gantt apply. That detailed Gantt now appears in this and this can now get cluttered because it's just remembering all the views that you've been in before. Including ones that you create yourself. Now to create a view you need to be on the view tab and then you've got this bit here where it says other views if you go into there and then you've got more views and there this is where you create the view so you've got all these preset views some of them are on here some of them are not but like I would I've just shown you if you click any of these they will then appear on there if you want to create your own view you go new and then you've got options here single view or a combination view. So for this little demo, going for combination view, click OK. And then you give it a name, so I'll call it Steve. And then you've got a primary view, which is the top half of the screen. And then the details pane, which will be the bottom half. And I've got this little tick showing menu so I can get to it without having to come into this box. Now, primary view, I will go for detailed Gantt. And details pane, I will go for resource graph because this is a view that I use quite a lot when I'm resourcing a project, especially if you get the red men appearing in the indicator column, which would mean that you've over allocated somebody. This sort of view will help you sort that out quite quickly. If I click OK to that, it sits there now. Look, if I click apply, it gives me that information and if I highlight these tasks at the top you will get the resource graph if there are any resources allocated which they are, are not at the minute so as soon as I start allocating resources so I'll just allocate one person Anne. now Anne will appear for this task the 20th it starts so let's just scroll across so we can find it I want Anne. Now she's not over allocated, so she should just be green. So I'll just use this scroll to task to bring that into view. There we go. So that's Anne. So this project is starting in October for some reason. Let's just change the start date. Project information to date. Status date today. Okay. And then the actual start date today. And then I'll just go to that to bring that into view again. We've got some. There's Anne. So she's okay, but if I apply her to another task, which is going on at the same time, so let's just have a look at this one. So we've got Monday the 13th, and then we've got all this task here. Monday the 13th again so if I put her on there she should go red and if I, there you go so this view is quite useful to show you where there is an over allocation of resources so you can see straight away that that day Anne is over allocated so that's a view that I can now click on and off if I go back to the normal Gantt view what happens here is it just changes the top half of the screen. If I don't want this split screen anymore, 
I have to go to the view tab and take off the details element. Now that details element is what I could have used to set this up in the first place without saving, without creating a view. So if I go and select resource graph from there and then just highlight these tasks, you will get, I'll oh, just scroll to task so I can get that. You get that there anyhow. But what I, what I have done is instead of coming in here, I've actually gone straight away and created the the view so it sits in the view list which you can see there custom that's the one I did and these are other ones that's been created before and then you've got more views at the bottom there to go back into that window that we were in before which I will do right now now in here you have this option called organizer so if I go in there this is where you can get rid of a view if it is not on the screen so at the moment even though I've got the same information on the screen this is not the view that I created this is just a split screen view that I've selected so I should better get rid of that so that's the current file if I delete that yes I do want to delete it and then if it's in the global template which it is I can delete it as well from there and then it no longer will sit in this view bar either that's how you can clear the view bar up make sure nothing's sitting in there and get rid of it out of here as well any customizations that you might have in there you just get rid of them same with reports and all these other elements tables lots of tables that you might have created that are in here which i have looked steve's table and all that sort of stuff so if you didn't want them anymore you can just delete those out so i'm happy with this i can close it i can close that i've got rid of that I can get rid of this split screen now I haven't got that view anymore so I would have to recreate that view again if I needed to use it so basically that's just how you create views very simple nothing too technical just go and select the views that you want there are some restrictions for example if I go into do that again if I go new view combination okay I'll just leave it as that if I go primary view and then um, select resource graph and then team planner say let's see what happens here project can't combine team planner with other time scale views so some of the combinations you cannot have so you'll have to just use trial and error to get the ones that you want but the one I showed you is one that I use quite often. Anyhow, that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.